Hello, my reading friends. Welcome to week two of the children's book reading challenge. Last week, we worked on five tests and we also had a checklist. Remember, I gave you the link to the checklist on my Pinterest board where you could check off the task if you were able to do them. Maybe you were able to do all five. Maybe you weren't able to do all of them, but you did some of them. In any case, that's great. So this week, I am going to give you five new challenges. Last week, some of you read graphic novels or comic books. Some of you read your friend's favorite book. Maybe you read out loud to a grandparent. You read to a younger sibling or cousin. Or some of you were even able to get a nonfiction book about a subject that you didn't know too much about and find out some new information. But here are this week's challenges. Okay, number one. Read a book outside. Now, of course, you need to get your parents' permission. Find a nice, cozy spot. And make sure you're following all of the social distancing and safety rules. Okay, the second task is to find a series that you're interested in. A book series where there's more than one book written in that series. Maybe it's a mystery series. Maybe it's a fantasy series, but read the first book in that series, okay? Task number three is to find a book that has no words, a picture book that has absolutely no words. See if you can figure out what the author is trying to tell you in the pictures. There are probably a lot of different meanings and I don't think there's a right or a wrong answer with this kind of book either. Okay, number four, read a book that has poetry in it or rhyming words. Remember that April was poetry month and this is the last week of April, so it would be a good time to get in reading one last poetry book. And number five, the last test for this week is to read a book with a girl as the main character. Now, don't worry, boys, because you're going to get your chance. But this week, find a book where a girl is the main character and read that book. So there are your five reading challenges. Read a book outside. Read the first book book in a new series. Read a book that has no words, just pictures. Read a book that has poetry or rhyming words. And the last task is to read a book that has a girl as the main character. So don't forget to download your checklist if you didn't do that yet. And this is Barbara Ann Mojica, a.k.a. Little Miss History, saying bye for now. I'll see you next week.